Is it too bright? I don't even know. So today's just a chill day and I thought I should vlog because you guys seem to really like my vlogs and I could just put this, I'll just vlog for the week and put it all in one video. Why not, right? So I am wearing my same old robe. I wear this robe in almost every makeup tutorial, but I'll be watching it. Don't get it twisted. Um, a lot of you guys asked me where I got this robe and this is from um, Savage Fenty. And this is from the CLF foundation. So it says it right here. That's just the robe. And when you um, buy the robe, I believe the money goes to that foundation. So I like this robe. I actually really like this robe. They're mad comfy and they're like silk. And that's like mad soft. And it's just nice on your skin, you know. So I would recommend these robes. You know, the type of robes I don't like is the one that's kind of like a wool material. You know what I mean? It kind of feels cottony woolly and it woolly <laughs> it feels like that and it i don't like those because i be feeling hot when i do my makeup so this is like perfect for when i'm doing my makeup and i feel hot um this is literally perfect because it's super thin and it's super nice i have my makeup on for about like i want to say four hours or so and y'all see my small lines but yeah my lipstick didn't move and i was eating girl but lately when i go out in the sun like my hair is literally brown in the sun and it's like i have ocd sometimes about certain things how i like certain things and when i go outside it looks super brown and i'm so like i always dye my hair blue black and then when i go in the sun it turns blue black but i guess i washed it so much and i didn't re-dye it that it's fading to brown this is my natural hair guys um a lot of you guys be asking me like what's your natural hair this is actually it it's just kind of wavy it used to be much more curlier but um since i straightened my hair so much the curls didn't really hold that well so this is just how it is it's just wavy now some curls are still there but like not that much you know in 2012 girl my hair was curly it was pretty it was short and then i started shaving my hair and it just got wavy the top of my hair here's a trick so the top of my hair is normally curlier i put this spray on my hair um i got this from my aunt actually it's from eva nyc i really like it i put it I put it on the roots of my hair and then I like brush it out and it becomes straight and I don't really put it at the bottom of my hair I put something else on the bottom of my hair um it's like this argan oil thing but it's a spray like a liquid spray it's not like an oil and that just really is nice for my hair so there hasn't been any new makeup that I was interested in like to do a review or like a first impressions or a wear test there, I literally wasn't interested in any new makeup that came out recently. That's why I haven't been doing like makeup review ones. But comment down below anything that's coming up soon or anything that's out now that you want me to review. And I'll definitely do that for you. Um, I just haven't seen anything that I actually like that I want to review. So that's just an update on where's like all the makeup. Like, I don't know. Jeffree Star came out with some new concealers. And if you're my skin tone, let me know like what concealer shade you got because my sister actually wanted to get a Jeffree Star concealer and I was helping her look for like a shade like from like the videos and um, posts from Trendwood and I couldn't find anything that would fit like our skin tone like there was like two shades that would fit it but the undertone wasn't right like the yellow and golden concealers like I didn't really see that there so let me know down below if you got the Jeffree Star um concealer and your my skin tone or ashley's skin tone and let me know what shade you got because we were just looking and looking and we were like wow this is crazy because there's literally two shades that would probably be good for us but one would be our skin tone and one would be a different undertone than our skin if that makes sense let me know what you guys thought about the um jeffree star concealers the shade range i think that the shade range was a little skippy but it's great that you know people are coming out with 30 concealers but the shade range was a little skippy like i didn't understand like the colors and like the numbers like i didn't really get it but let me know what you guys thought but well, lately i've been so busy so that's why mostly you'll see videos of like my mom cooking or ashley or me or just us chilling maybe this is probably going to be a big huge vlog and this portion is probably going to be the beginning so i'm probably not going to vlog the rest of the day because i am a little busy today I'll probably vlog like tomorrow or the next day or the next day, you know. It'll be like a week. 
little parts of the day maybe i'll skip a day but i'm trying to be as consistent as possible and if that means vlogging i'll definitely vlog you know i'll see you guys in the next clip i don't know what the next clip is but i'm gonna meet you there hey guys so it is a few weeks later i'm bugging it's like two weeks later and i said i was gonna vlog but i lied <laughs> i just forgot to honestly and i wasn't even doing anything fun fun to vlog but i'm gonna try to pick it up again so this is my makeup today i did like yellow on my lid and red in my crease and like i mixed browns and those two colors on my lower lash line let me show you the palette so i used this palette i actually got this from the ipsy box i think for free so i was like ooh. and normally when i get like free stuff i always put it like in a bin and i could like give it away to like my family and friends when i see them or like my subscribers but this palette okay broken the mirror is like hella smashed so then i was like then i'm gonna have to keep it because i'm not gonna give anyone something broken and so i used the palette on my eyes and um this palette is really nice but would i recommend it no because it wasn't that pigmented and like you had to like put a lot on the brush to get pigment but other than that it was okay the palette but mm, i wouldn't recommend it let me show you what else i got in my ipsy box i don't know if it's called ipsy box or what honestly i don't remember but I have the pan flip, so we're gonna figure that out. Glam bag. Okay, this is the Glam Bag Plus. And Ipsy Launch Glam Bag Plus Late 2018, which featured five full size beauty products for $25. Previously, this offering was only available to existing Ipsy Glam members as of April 2019, were available to the public. So they're available to. Oops. So they're available to the public. So I guess you guys can get your hands on these bags for $25. And they gave some good stuff. So they gave that palette and their pamphlet. That tells me what else they gave. And I'm going to give like this Paris Hilton. It's called the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. So they gave the palette that I showed you guys earlier. They gave this. And this is just Feel Balance Moisture Balancing Cream. They gave two of these Stila. Is this Stila? No, this is Girl Actic. Two Girl Actic three in one lip sparkle balm. So this one's called Twinkle and this one's called Periwinkle. They gave this Paris Hilton Pro DNA Advanced Skincare System Cleansing Gel. They gave this Bright Eyes Dark Circles Radiance Concentrate Eye Cream. And I love eye cream, so I'm definitely going to use that soon when my other eye cream like finishes by the way i didn't have to make a video on this they just sent it to me for free but i'm still gonna like say my thoughts and tell you guys because why not so the the cream costs 28 dollars the girl actic lip balm costs 34 dollars for the set of two the paris hilton gel skincare cost $29 the eye cream cost $55 y'all know eye creams be expensive and this Laura Sanchez Moods eyeshadow and highlighter palette cost $35 should I add them up on my card later I don't even know let's try it was $181 so everything cost $181 and you get it for $25 which is not bad but I'm really excited for like the skincare products like this Paris Hilton cleanser and the eye cream so when they sent me this package i was dying because they put tiffany to god as the shipment name and i was like wow people don't really know my last name like i need to start putting my last name like on my instagram or something because people don't know it and i was like dying i posted on instagram it was just so funny tiffany to god i was like wow because normally i get like tiff god or normally people just ask what's your last name to ship it but they didn't ask me what my last name was they just like put tiffany to god and my dad was like i think this is for you and i'm like yeah i think that's what i got from that glam bag i think it's called glam bag 
I already forgot the name. That's like a cool little subscription box. Um, a lot of people are coming out with subscription boxes. I will catch up with you guys soon. Me and Ashley are about to film like a challenge, the Guess the Flavor Challenge. That's in another video and that's probably already up. So go check that out if you haven't. Yeah. Hey guys, so it's a few days later. Um, Y'all, I've been just so busy with like... You don't know why I've been so busy like in a few weeks. But I've just been busy and I'm trying to make time to vlog and to is my camera dirty sorry <laughs> i've been trying to make time to vlog and all that but um yeah this vlog is probably gonna be just me talking you're probably gonna see me talk and stuff but yeah <laughs> i got like a package from juno and co and they have like this new cloud um blender it doesn't have the name on it i think it's called like the cloud um cloud sponge Something like that. It just came out, I think, um, May 3rd or something like that. So, I'm excited to try that because I really like Juno & Co. sponges. And speaking of Juno & Co., they sent me, like, a package for my birthday. Even though my birthday was, like, last month. But that was really sweet of them. So, shout out to Juno & Co. And, yeah. So, today's gonna be a chill day. I'm actually waiting for the ups to come because i ordered like these organizer drawers that i can store stuff in but hopefully it comes in i'll probably vlog me fixing it up because i don't know if i have to fix it or if it's already fixed so we're gonna figure that out but i'm about to do some laundry and i'm about to like do some tidying up and stuff so i'll check back in with you guys in a few oh so, right now hold on sorry <laughs> my wi-fi is like the worst wi-fi ever we have spectrum and their wi-fi is really horrible like extremely horrible i hate it so much and yeah so we are changing to fios and i heard fios's wi-fi is amazing spectrum's wi-fi i always have to reboot and restart it and it's so hard for me to upload videos i have to use my hotspot and sometimes it takes the longest time with my hotspot for my phone to upload videos and stuff so that's another reason why my uploads have been skippy is because the wi-fi really sucks and it just keeps coming off and sometimes it doesn't work at all you could reboot it so many times and it wouldn't work at all so we're changing to files so right now i'm just taking like the cable boxes out right now because files will come like tomorrow ish so i'm excited to get wi-fi because i'm gonna need wi-fi for like videos and for like future things and i really need good wi-fi coming up especially in june bitch i really need wi-fi and hopefully this shit works like the amount of times that spectrum came to fix the wi-fi is ridiculous and plus spectrum really sucks like it sucks Sorry, Spectrum, you suck. <laughs> so I'm just gonna like take it out now. And oh, for the past few days, we haven't had cable. So for the past few days, I'm like on my phone looking at videos. Like we haven't had cable or Wi Fi because we are um, changing into um, files. So we just canceled Spectrum and we haven't had cable. And it's been very quiet in the house. And I know my dad's suffering because he loves his TV. But me, I don't really care. We're just watching like some DVDs. I'm about to watch Impractical Jokers. For some reason, if you guys haven't watched that show, it's hella funny. Like I literally cry laughing. It's so funny. Um, but me and my sister re recently been watching it on TV. And then we were going through our DVDs at home because we have to use like the DVD player to watch stuff now. Uh, we canceled Spectrum on, I want to say, Friday and files isn't coming till tuesday so it's been about a good few days without tv or wi-fi <sighs> i'm dying without wi-fi i'm uploading this video probably with my hotspot right now but yeah so tuesday they're coming and we've just been looking through dvds like we have a whole bunch of dvds here so me and my sister and my mom we've just been looking through dvds and we found impractical jokers and we only been watching it for like the past three months and we found impractical jokers the first season on dvd in our house and we're like yo that's insane because no one ever bought that like my dad didn't buy that my mom my dad my sister and we just found it and we're just like god's blessing us with some fun shows right now because we only have like Indian movies here. We have One Tree Hill. Love One Tree Hill. We only have season two and the last season of One Tree Hill. And we watched season two so many times and it's like, ugh. And then the last season of One Tree Hill is so sad. 
so we have like impractical jokers we found like little dvds of friends because we used to collect friends but i can't find it all so i found like season two and season one of friends Ugh, i don't want to watch season one of friends <laughs> so i've been watching season two and i'm about to watch impractical jokers this is impractical jokers this is season one and it's still sealed like no one knew we had this i don't know how we had this but it's so crazy but this is such a funny show, you guys. I definitely recommend it. It shows on TV. It's so hilarious. And I think I have to take the Wi-Fi out. I don't know. My mom was like, can you do me a favor and take out the stuff for me? It's like, yeah, because I'm home. This is the Spectrum Wi-Fi. It really sucks. I would throw this on the floor right now. It freaking sucks. I hate it so much. Like, it really messes up my scheduling, like, to upload videos and to do other things. Like, it just messes everything up for me. It's so dusty. I'm going to have allergies. I have the worst allergies, especially when it comes to dust. Ow. I'm like the handy person in this house. Like, I'm that bitch, you know? This is like not coming out. It's coming out, guys. It's coming out. I need to take um, a Allegra after this because I just know I'm going to sneeze. The box. Oh, what's back here? Oh, we could watch Student of the Year. I found another movie we could watch. This movie is actually really good. They have really good songs. My glasses were behind us the whole time. This is like vintage Ray-Bans. I'm about to put in the laundry. And then I'm going to take out the other box. So update, UPS did not come yet. I wanted to come before like I go somewhere, you know, like I just wanted to come so I could fix up the freaking thing. But you guys, I'm like four subscribers away from 14,000. We're about to hit 14,000, y'all. Ooh, it's lit. We're almost about to hit 14,000 subscribers. So excited. Remember, like I always get asked, who are you calling subscribers? Glow gods, duh, we're glow gods. And when I say glow gods, I don't mean like actual gods because I don't think we're like gods, you know. But um Tiff God just came from my friend calling me Tiff God because Drake is six god. And then my name Tiffany means God. My middle name means God. My last name is offering a gift to God. So it's just like a I have like a godly name. So it's like Tiff God. But you guys are like my glow gods. So, like, we're all just chilling, glowing, living life, blessed, and all that. I'm excited. 14,000 subscribers. I'm still waiting for UPS to come. They're taking their sweet time. And it's just, like, normally they come around 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. But today they want to, like, come later. And it's like, what is you doing when I want you to come? You're not going to come. Person, UPS has not come yet. So, I'm probably not going to fix the draws in this video. I'm probably going to fix it another separate video and you guys are gonna see that like later on soon UPS really be playing me because it be coming early in the morning and now they want to come at night time when I want to film me like putting stuff together like what thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I know this vlog was kind of all over the place but um it's kind of better than nothing <laughs> lately I've been doing like my wing liner with the black eyeshadow it's just so much easier with like a tinier brush and I've been feeling it and I do like white on my waterline and that's just been this has been my look lashes wing and white in my waterline and then you know my face beat but that's just been my look these days and like a nude lip and I switch up the nudes like every time I put on my makeup right now it's um Kiki W Beauty Nude 2 liner with Velvet Teddy from MAC but it kind of wore off a little bit because I was like eating. But Velvet Teddy was like my first ever favorite like lipstick ever. Like I used to buy that so much. It was like my favorite. Still is like my favorite MAC lipstick. Hands down. I love it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. You. I don't wanna rush into it if it's too soon But I know you need to get done, 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 done If you come on